Hi everyone, Melanie here from Root to Rise Wellness. I am here to talk to you about a very, very special uh, flower which people love to spray with pesticides and I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this poor plant. I just want to say that I was once asked which flower best represents me and I said the dandelion. Terexicum officinale. Sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> that is the Latin name. I was once asked uh, what, you know, what flower represents me and I, like I said, I said dandelion and it's because it's resilient. No matter what happens to dandelion, no matter what you do to it, it's going to come back. <laughs> and I just feel like that um, related to me in that I'm a person who is like that, that I always want to persevere. So um, dandelion is really special and I want to talk to you today about some of the special flower essence attributes of dandelion. So flower essences are amazing because they help us with balancing our, our energies and instilling the positive virtual, virtues that we need to stay in balance. So if you are a person who happens to work really hard and maybe like to a point where it's not healthy, like uh, push yourself too hard to just keep going, work, 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 right? You really want to do a good job and you keep working and it's not healthy. Well, dandelion as a flower essence is amazing for helping to release that need. So uh, to make dandelion into a flower essence, uh, I am going to be doing a beautiful uh, retreat at Maple Spring Gardens where we get a chance to sit with the flowers and do that. And dandelions are so plentiful, they're everywhere. Um, and so great to work with in that in that way. Uh, I will go ahead and tell you some other amazing aspects of dandelion. So dandelion, every single part of this plant, this flower can be used from the root to the stem to the flower, all of it. And the roots are awesome because um, you can roast them and they make a great coffee substitute and they also have inulin in them and inulin is a prebiotic so it's like food for probiotics which doesn't get enough attention like probiotics so uh, what you would do is you would dig up your dandelions and let's say you're weeding great time to use your dandelions so you dig those up and and you basically just peel wash and peel as much as you can the outside chop it up into small little bits and then just put it in the oven on a you know cooking pan or sheet pan for maybe at 350 and uh, put it in there and roast it for like 20 minutes and you're good. You will have an amazing coffee substitute that you can then simmer for about 15 minutes and add, you know, then your, your milk or whatever you tie over, you take your coffee. Uh, great mix in with chicory root as well. So um, that's one way to use it. Also dandelion root is really great for liver. So great for if you have, it could be a recovering alcoholic or someone who has impaired liver dysfunction, really. Most of the world in America, I could say these days, has impaired liver dysfunction. So who doesn't need a dandelion root? It's here for us, right? So you can cook with it. You can medicinally, uh, we tincture it. So we use alcohol to extract the positive virtues of dandelion root and um, basically use that to as a liver stimulant. So it increases bile production, which is really important and the way that it stimulates our liver. Um, the leaves, I know they're bitter. I know you guys, but if you know how to cook it, it's still good. For example, tomato sauce is sweet. Anything with tomato sauce uh, will help balance that bitterness. Uh, citrus, orange, lemon helps take out the bitter. Steaming, uh, sauteing, any of that will also help take out some of that bitterness. So the, um, the leaves of dandelion are also awesome. I, I should show you how to identify it. It is toothed, toothed leaves. Um, some, I have seen people mistaken dandelion for wild lettuce, but wild lettuce has like spikes.
with toothed ribbed edges. And um, yeah, so the leaves are high in potassium, so that's great for your kidneys. It also is a diuretic, so just know that you will go to the bathroom more. It's detoxing, it's releasing, it's letting go. Um, the leaves are great to cook with as well. And you can also fry up these tops with some, I could, you know, you can use egg and some flour and fry them up and eat them and enjoy them like fritters. And the other thing you can do is um, use these stems. So I will show you. Thank you, dandelion. This milky white substance is actually a great wart remover. Yes, you could put it on your warts through that one in there. But also, it could be used as a straw. Check that out, hollow little stem. And I have even, believe it or not, nuked dandelion stems, the ones that get real big, and made pasta. Mixed it with half regular or zucchini kind of pasta and because it is a little bitter, but bitter. <laughs> bitter, bitter is better. <laughs> it is a little bit bitter, so you can blanch it half and half with regular pasta, really great. So tons of stuff that can be used for dandelion. And again, that flower essence um, is great for those who work too hard to release that need for perfection and, to, and that drive and to just let go. Um, so I really love dandelion for so many reasons. If you'd like to join me for uh, my flower essence retreat, it will be at Maple Spring Gardens in North Carolina, Cedar Grove, North Carolina on April 30th, and it's a half-day retreat. I'm really excited about it. Okay, everyone. The plant lover in me honors the plant lover in you. Namaste. Thank